Hello guys, Jagveer Singh back with another video of Mastercam 2020 and in this particular video I will show you how to make a plane inside Mastercam. So let's get started. So first of all I will show you different ways of making a plane. You can see at the bottom left corner there's a, an option for the plane where you have different options to add or create a new plane. If this uh, option is not available you can always go to view and make sure that the plane is highlighted. So uh, before proceeding with uh, formation of any kind of plane, what I will do is I will try to merge a part that we have already worked on, which is this one. Make sure every time you merge, your edge curves is selected and you click open. And I click OK and I have this part right here. So what kind of options do we have for creating a plane? We can create a plane from geometry, from a solid face, from G view from entity normal, quick C plane or dynamic. Mainly what I have been working with are three of them from geometry, from solid, uh, solid phase and from dynamic. So from geometry and solid phase, it is quite clear that for, from geometry, we can use the wireframe in order to create a, uh, create a plane. Whereas from solid phase, we need a flat surface or a solid body to do so, to do a make. Uh, make a plane so let me show you the first one with uh, from geometry I click on it so now I can choose any physical entity or any wireframe that is linked with my solid so let's say I want to create a plane right here so I just click on it so it gives me an option that what kind of coordinate system am I looking for then I can choose whichever I want to so let's say I would like to choose this one in which my flat surface is going to be X and Y plane and my Z is going to be perpendicular to that surface. And I can click OK and simply I can name what uh, name the plane whatever I want to let's say plane 1 or plane geometry and then I will click OK. So now I have a plane made on that particular face. So whatever the construction or, or stuff that I want to do in Mastercam will be with respect to that plane now. Similarly, if I want to create a plane from solid face, it's basically the same concept. It's the only difference is that you can select the face this time instead of the wireframe itself. So if I want to create a plane right here, so the same concept as well. It's going to ask me what kind of body are you looking for. Plus, it can this time you can also make at weird angle, for example. And so now they, they are saying that you need to select a flat solid face because it is important for a plane. As a plane can be only made on a flat surface or sometimes uh, if condition applies then only at the tangents of a curved surface as here it's not highlighted so we have to choose a flat surface so right here you can see we have the same same kind of option that we had so I'm going to stick with the same and I click OK you can name the plane once again plane face and then click OK. Well, most of the conditions in here, you just make, need to make sure that your WCS, T plane, and C plane are active. That is the main condition. And you click OK. If you are working with different uh, work offsets, then you need to make sure that what uh, manual work offset would you be working with while you want this plane to be active. So for now, you can just click OK, and your plane will be created at that particular desired position. So the last one that I'm going to share with you guys is dynamic. The best part about dynamic is you are free to choose what kind of plane and at what particular angle do you want to. So for example, I want to have a plane which is at the origin itself, but is inclined at 45 degrees right here. Let's say it's inclined at 45 degrees. If you are not able to find the like what exactly the 
dimension should be you can simply type in 45 and press enter it will automatically take it take into consideration 45 and when you click enter again it will fix your 45 degree so you can write plane 45 degree so working with plane is that if you want to make a plane let's say 45 degrees then it's always recommended when you are working with solids to have a plane which is negative 45 degrees so if you want to do the CNC machining with respect to I mean with respect to the plane so if you have a part that is needed to be machined at 45 degrees then it's better to make a plane at negative 45 degrees because the rotation of the machine clockwise can differ by half to one degree angle so that can ma make a huge difference in tolerance of that particular part so it is always recommended to make negative planes for a positive manufacturing conditions so that is a good advice and a good suggestion to keep in mind while you are trying to work with generating the planes and it, that might be helpful and these kind of problems may only arise especially when you are working with 5-axis parts or very complex parts that are manufactured or cutted at different or weird angles if you are just working with 3-axis uh, simple parts then you might not face this issue so I can click OK and then you can see that I have a 40, 45 degree angle plane which on which I can work now so you see the isometric view at 45 degree will look something like this whereas the normal geometry plane I have this and the very and the one that we use the face will look something like this it is pretty cool to learn how the planes can be made and is really one of the best thing to know rather than working on the same plane and trying to adjust the solid body up and down to adjust according to the conditions that might apply to your part so this is it for today's video thanks for watching and I hope you, you like the video and please do not forget to subscribe, like and share and stay tuned for new videos. Thank you.